What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Treville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Get this. Jarrell Miller speaks out following his stoppage to Daniel Dubois, and this is what the Brooklynite had to say. He said, I didn't quit. Okay? And he went into death. And he said this, he said, I didn't quit like no bitch. Inactivity was the killer tonight. Real warriors don't quit. Rest and back to work. Congrats to my little bro, Daniel Dubois, the shrimp. <laughs> Came with it tonight and earned my respect. God is good all the time. Those are the words of Jarrell Big Baby Miller. And let me counterpunch. <clears throat> There's no anger or angle <laughs> or way to say anything bad about Jarrell Miller unless I just wanted to at this point because when a loud mouth gets humbled when he gets silenced when he gets an answer and then his response is humble his response is respectable his response is warranted. Then there's no reason to really hate or dislike or despise Jarrell Big Baby Miller. <clears throat> because he didn't come with like with conspiracies and certain uh, 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 types of other things that other people have done over the years. You know, inactivity. I mean, that's a that's a real thing. You know what I mean? Like I, he wasn't as inactive as Deontay Wilder, but he was. You know, but as you guys know, that um, attended my live stream, I broke everything down with Jarrell Miller about his, his inactivity, but more importantly, his drug use. Because see, one thing that's not really been uh, found out about or 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 really looked into is the fact of how many times in Jarrell Miller's career did he take drugs? Now, a lot of people can, you know, shit on him because of that. I'm like, okay, don't be an don't be hypocrite simply because other fighters have done it. He ain't the first and he will not be the last. Okay? So let's just let's just put that out there. Is it one of the worser cases? Sure, you can look at it like that, you know, but a duck's a duck, a kill's a kill, red is red, violence a blue. What you going to do? <laughs> you know, he took five tests in seven days. He took it short notice, like all of them really did, to be fair. But, you know, other than that, he had nothing bad to say about Danny Dubois. He had nothing to criticize. He he didn't blame the, oh, the British ref stopped the fight too early. No, that was a good stop as you look back at it, because Danny Dubois was hitting this man all night. The only difference was uh, Miller stopped hitting him. Okay, he got tired. Fatigues makes cowards of men. Okay, he couldn't carry around that weight. Them titties were shaking. Them titties were heavy, people. So, and then he comes like, hey, what it is? And you're like, oh, he's still a bum. Yeah, he shouldn't have been there in the first place. Well, okay, that's your opinion. Everyone has one, just like assholes. But at the same time, the man is being respectful. He's being respectful. Like, hey, okay, I didn't quit like a bitch. You know, so if that's what you're thinking, you're mistaken, you know? And I, I think uh, sometimes though, and, and for, for everyone that hates Jarrell Miller for what he did damn near five years ago now, four and a half years ago, uh, and three and a half years ago, <laughs> um, if you dislike him because of that, okay, that's fine and dandy. But, it, but understand this, the more a fighter keeps fighting and, and comes up clean, you know, I think the more you should start respect, respecting him for what he is. The double jeopardy thing, in this case, triple jeopardy, you know, it gets old, honestly, because like, you know, that's just like anybody that does anything wrong or they do something they don't supposed to do. To always be labeled for that is um, wrong. However, though, we have to see Jarrell Miller um, truly rehabilitate himself, you know? Um, I just can't, like, 
Like, here's the thing. Some people are looking for things to say bad about Jarrell Miller anyway because they just don't like him. Just like people didn't like Floyd, and it wasn't even because of what Floyd did. It was probably who Floyd was. Let that shit sink in. Okay. But Jarrell Miller is a guy that, hey, <clears throat> he's like my little bro, Daniel Dubois. He earned my respect. You know what I mean? God's good all the time. I'm like, well, what could you take bad from that? There's nothing you could. He got beat. Yes, will his stock <clears throat> drop? Yeah, it, it drops because, he, you know, he lost his O, you know, in my book. That's just my opinion, though. You know, will he fight again? I'm pretty sure he will based on his will, you know. And um, I, I he's grown respect for me because I thought he was going to be one of those guys with excuses. And then at that point, unfortunately, you can say, you know what? Most Americans make excuses when they get their ass whooped. That would have been the narrative, but that can't be because Jarrell Miller didn't respond like Deontay Wilder did, okay? I seen that 78 Sports TV review. I got a few videos to come with that late later, but he didn't respond like Deontay. So if anything, people, sure, he took drugs like other fighters did, but he did get beat when he wasn't on drugs. He has to redeem himself to prove that he can still fight, lose weight, compete without drugs, so he still has a job to do, okay, to earn my respect and thousands or millions of other people around the world, sure. But at least, to say this, at least he didn't do like other people did when he did take a loss. At least give the man that much. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Jarrell Miller making his statement, our first statement, our statements, after his loss to Daniel Dubois. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.